Hello everybody and welcome again to another video for Gilded Tips. I am Admired Plague and I'm here to help you guys with your server setup. Um, if you guys just came over from the how to create a server video, welcome on in. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you uh, going through the videos. Uh, if you're just coming just for roles and permissions and how those work and how those are set up, uh, welcome on in. We're going to try and make this very short, sweet, simple to the point. Uh, roll the intro. All right, everybody, here we go. I'm going to show you guys quickly how to do roles and role permissions per channels um, or even for groups. It's very simple. Um, all you have to do is when, when you're in your main server home, go to your settings and then in settings, you're going to see roles. Now, just like Discord, almost identical. You have your roles, how you want things to set based on how they are set. Here is your priority queue. So you obviously want your most important roles near the top and then down to the least important roles. Some of these roles are hidden. So some of them are kind of all in the same uh, area. So like I have Target. I used to work at Target. I have a lot of friends that play games at Target. So we have our own role in our own group so that we can kind of keep things separate. Um, but what's nice about this is you're able to keep all of these things kind of together around the same permissions. It doesn't really matter what order these are in because I don't really show them. So if you want to make a brand new role, uh, it's pretty simple. You just click add another role at the top. You're going to only have, I think, two at the time. You're going to have the um, admin role and then I think one extra role, which is think just members. Uh, click add role. Uh, make this whatever you want. So I can make this test role. Uh, we'll get rid of the little carrot there. Uh, give it a color. You have custom colors. Um, you can do whatever color you want. So I like to make my stuff bright. So let's make it like a super, super bright toxic green. Click on that. Now you have test roll. Um, now I'm going to go through the settings really quick so you guys understand what this stuff means um, and then kind of show you what everything does. Um, we'll make this really quick. So uh, self-assignable. This is something that's not in Discord, at least not to, not to my knowledge. This allows you to assign a role to yourself via the role menu. Um, you can do this in Discord using a bot by clicking on a specific emote or icon and that allows you to give yourself that role. But in this case, we could just give yourself the role like that. Um, mentionable means you can get mentioned and display separately means on the sidebar of your servers, you can display it separately. Um, so that way, if that's the only role someone has, it'll show up on the sidebar. Um, and then people can mention that role. If you don't want it mentionable, if it's just a random role that just for fun or something like that, you don't need any importance to it. You don't have to be mentionable. Um, but then the general permissions, obviously you want to keep pretty much all of this stuff off. Uh, you don't really need any of this stuff because none of the, unless you're doing like a mod role. Anything else, you do not need to worry about anything that happens with your groups, with your uh, members, with your server, nothing. Um, application, same thing. This is just a mod role type of thing. We're going to cover this in a different video. Um, announcements and all that stuff. So you want them to view announcements. It's on by default. So that way people will make a new announcement in your server. They can see it. Um, but you do want to make sure they can read messages, send messages. They can create threads, which means reply to somebody. Um, send message within a thread, which means replying to a thread. Um and then you don't want them to actually manage threads. Um, calendar permissions, because there is a calendar. I'll cover the calendar in another video. Um, you know, they can see everything. They can create events there if they want. You can turn that on or off if you want the calendar to not be, uh, you know, worked on by another role. Um, once again, that's all about your role. So this is all calendar stuff, forum permissions. They can read forums. They can create forum topics. That's all good. Um, this is kind of like your general, like normal member role. Like I have the epidemic. Um, the epidemic is kind of like my general member, so they could do all the general stuff. And then from there, it goes up to a hierarchy of mod um, VIP and then admin. So um, nothing really crazy in here. Everything is pretty much set. If you make a brand new role, it's going to give them just the member role stuff in the first place. If you want to go through and customize this, everything that we're scrolling right through right now will be its own video. There's a lot to discuss and like what people can and cannot do. Um, but that is how you make a brand new role. We're going to put the test role actually below VIP. And then I'm going to show you how to assign that to yourself. So you want to save your changes, click on that, and then make your way over uh, to the sidebar. Now, notice how there is no, it should be underneath VIP. No one has this role. However, I can assign it to myself. If you click on yourself, you'll have a plus button. You can click on that and here's everything that you can assign yourself. Now I can assign myself every role because I'm an admin. Everyone else can only see, I do believe, um, just Twitch Columbus epidemic and that is it. And now this test role. So I'm gonna give myself the test role. There it is. If I were to take away my, if I was to take away my admin role, you would see it. Now, for instance, if I were to give it to say Chrono here, he is a member of Twitch Columbus and Infectious. If I were to click on this given test role, 
it has now switched him out of infectious and into test role because it is its own separate thing and higher up on the hierarchy over infectious at the moment just for testing purposes but if i were to take this role away hit confirm he is now an infectious because now that's the next role that's up so that's how that works that's roles that's permissions now let's go over to quickly how to manage uh roles on your channels now for instance i only have vip access to almost all of these over here vip and higher because this is my own uh category um but the general community here is what everyone else gets to look through if you see a little world next to it that means it's global for pretty much everybody and the that's how the settings are for the whole category um so when you're making up different uh categories for your channels you want to make sure that the overall um, role permissions are for everybody so community should be for everyone so we're going to go to category settings permissions and then it's just member so everyone can see everything that's in here i have nothing special it's all just um you know everyone can see it there's nothing um special about this if you have a member role once you're in you can see everything that's here and talk and do whatever you need to do now if you want to make this special if you want to make uh you know a whole category special for instance my sanctum if i got permissions you can see that I have Plague Doctor, Mod VIP, and Target as permissions for the role. So only these are going to be able to see it. Members are all turned off. So this means that members cannot see um, anything that's in here. However, my mods are able to see things. My VIPs can see things. Target can see things. Well, Target can't see everything. There's certain things in here that Target can see. Um, and then I'm able to see everything. Um, so that is permissions. That is how to set up a role, how to set up permissions, how the hierarchy works and how to add it to a channel and or a, um, a channel and or a category. So the category is going to be the little cog next to whatever your category is set up. And then your actual channel, if you want to have these specific within a category, everyone has a cog wheel that you can assign roles to. Um, always make sure that when you do assign a role that you do give the check marks green for people so they can see things. I had some issues with the voice. Um, I actually had to turn everything green for voice uh, for some of the stuff, but I have now linked it with my community. So um, that being said, thank you guys for being here. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, um, we'll switch back to the screen. Boop. Hi, everyone. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or comments or you like the video, check it out. Um, give me a comment down below. If you if it helped you in some way, like, subscribe whatever you guys got to do. Um, but that's it. Uh, if you guys want, I'm live almost every day on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash admired plague. If you are watching this video and there's a little live notification somewhere, that means I'm obviously live and you can ask questions. Um, I would love if you guys had questions to come in and hang out um, or just drop in the comments. I try my best to answer every comment that comes in or respond to it in some way, shape or form. I love my community. Um, you guys are basically what keeps me going in content creation. And uh, I do this for you guys, which is why I try not to I try to make these under 10 minutes so that there's no ads. Um, I don't need the monetization. So with that being said, see you guys in the next video. The next video is going to cover groups, how to create them, and how they work within Gilded. I will see you in the next video. Uh, if you came from the, um, the Create a Server video, thank you for that. Uh, the next video will be here, somewhere around here. And then a random video of mine will be here. And I'm sure there's a sub button somewhere. Click it. Thank you, guys. See you guys next video. Bye!